Not every X-wing is productive, unfortunately. Just because you find an X-wing, it doesn't mean that you will crack the puzzle wide open, let alone make any progress at all. But in this particular puzzle we're looking at, finding that X-wing is essential. Now, it might not be immediately obvious to you what progress you have achieved. You've just eliminated two tiny little numbers from two different cells. Well, I'm not going to tell you exactly what your next move is, but if you don't even want a hint, well then, please tune out now before I deliver another spoiler. The small number two you just deleted from row nine has altered the picture somehow. Something is available now that was not available before. You have one less two than you had in row nine. Where are the twos now in row nine? There's one here, and there's one there. And perhaps you should also think about the sevens in row nine. That's all I'm going to tell you, but from that information, you should be able to pick on something which will lead to real progress on that puzzle. Coming back to X-wings, though, that's how an X-wing works. It is true that X-wings don't jump out of you. You have to hunt for them. But they are not as hard as you might think, not as hard to find. And you don't necessarily have to laboriously write in all of the candidates. I'm going to simplify this puzzle appearance even further by showing you a puzzle that has just the twos entered and none of the other numbers. We can see our X-wing rectangle of twos still in place and we can see if we come over to column eight the twos which we eliminated in the previous example that two up there went and this two down here also disappeared if i were solving this puzzle without pencil marks and i was thinking that there might be an x-wing involving twos I would look at each row in turn. Here are the twos. The first three rows of the puzzle cannot be harboring an X-wing because they already have their big number twos. So there's no point spending time there. The next row, row four, has three twos as candidates. As soon as you find more than two instances of the small digit that you're looking for, you can ignore that row and pass on, because if it has more than two twos in this case, it cannot be part of an X-wing rectangle. The next row already has its big number two. The next row is row six, which we've already learnt about, and we know that it has two appearances of a two. Row seven already has a big number two, so forget it. Row eight we know about, it has two instances of a two. The last row, row nine, has three twos in it. That cannot be part of an X-wing rectangle of twos, so you can forget about that. As I go through the puzzle, I just note to myself, perhaps I even mutter it to myself quietly, row six. And that tells me that row six is a possible participant in an X-wing rectangle and row eight. So by the time I've gone to the, through the grid, I have noted row six and row eight. I go back to row six and row eight to see whether or not the two appearances line up in columns. And of course, in this case, they do. It took me a while to explain that process, and so it might have seemed as if it was a laborious action itself, but I, I think it's a whole lot easier than scribbling little numbers into every cell in the whole grid. Of course, to be fair, I did that only with twos. And if you were looking for an X-wing with some other number, you'd have to go through the grid again. Puzzle 38 has been a fairly straightforward example of an X-wing, but it, an X-wing can get more complicated in several ways. For one thing, you might find more than two qualifying rows. If you find, say, three qualifying rows, 
let's call them A, B, and C, you have to compare them in pairs. A with B, A with C, and B with C. Always trying to find the typical X-wing rectangle shape formed between just two rows. Another way in which X-wings can be more complicated is that I've been talking about X-wings as if they were always found for a start in rows. But in fact, you can look in columns, either first or having failed to find one in the rows. For example, in this very same puzzle, supposing we were looking for an X-wing of twos, and we looked first at the columns. The first three columns, here, here, and here, already have their twos. This column, column four, has two twos, so we're interested. I say to myself, column four. Column five has two twos, here and here. So I say, column four, column five. We can ignore the next two columns. Column eight has four twos. So I'm not interested in that, it's too many. The last column has two twos. I am interested. So I update my muttering to myself and say columns four, five, and nine. Then I go back and take those columns four, five, and nine in pairs and see whether or not any of them line up in the same columns. Columns four and columns five do not coincide. These twos are not lining up with twos from column five. So forget that. Column four with column nine, that doesn't match up either. There's no two opposite column fours to. That leaves us with columns five and nine. The two in column five is opposite the two in column nine. The two in column five, row nine, is opposite column nine, row nine. Here is the X-wing rectangle. I'm tracing it with my mouse. In fact, in this occasion, the X-wing rectangle is actually a square. We found this rectangle by looking firstly at columns. So now that we've found the rectangle, let's look at the rectangle's rows. Are there surplus twos? on the rows of the rectangle. Here we are in row four, nothing there. But this two here in column eight is not at the corners of the X-wing rectangle, so it's in the wrong place. Similarly down here in row nine, there's a two which is not at the corners of the X-wing rectangle. They are not part of the diagonals which form the X. So they can be deleted. I'm going to delete the two down here in row nine, column eight. And I'll delete the two in row four, column eight. Now you'll notice that those are the same small number twos that we deleted when we were looking for twos by starting our search with rows rather than columns. That often happens that way, but it's not essential. So that's a survey of X-wings. It's uh, an introduction to the subject. Obviously, finding them in the wild is going to be harder than seeing them demonstrated here. So that will be your pleasure when you tackle other puzzles in the extreme books.